Hello everyone, Sol here from Tasty Records coming at you with another Tasty Records TV video. Um, this week we're doing it on sealed records, whether you should keep them sealed, why people kind of keep them in a shrink, and what's the kind of purpose of a shrink going forward, you know, like what, what's the future of sealing records, what I think should happen. But uh, before we begin, we're an independent record shop here in Greater Manchester, Altrincham. Uh, we do loads of pre-loved records, loads of brand new records, new releases in every week, uh, stock items, all the good stuff. Um, so yeah, uh, I, I've, I'm in a different clothes, I'm about to change mind warp, time warp into another area, but hope you enjoy the video. But yeah, as an independent shop, we get a lot of record collections coming in the uh, the door and we uh, buy them in and you can sell to us as well you know drop us a message or whatever um, and this week we got a really good collection of stuff no later than like 1990 and pretty much 90% of them were still in their original shrink and it really made me think about the shrink made me think you know it made me think about why this guy might have done it um, and you know what makes them valuable basically and you know we'll talk a bit about grading and stuff i suppose so here's a really good example of of one which um came in the collection smith's hatful of hollow um their kind of seminal uh you know best of album um from it was in 1984 i think but as you can see uh it's still in the original shrink wrap it's never been opened the gatefold's never been seen um, it's got the original Virgin sticker on it. It's got the original Hype sticker. Um, it smells like, you know, paint thinner, like paint, you know, and that's the kind of sign for to be wary, to be honest, because there's certain plastics which don't really rub well with the, plas the you know, plastic vinyl which a disc is made out of. But this is already sold. We did sell this very, very quickly. Um, and... Uh, you know, online, I mean, and we're going to ship it out very soon. But I just wanted to kind of show you the, the record as an example. So, you know, I, I suppose the reason why the person who bought we bought this off kept this uh, like this is so it is in just absolute pristine condition. And it's not necessarily for, you know, investment purposes, I'd say. Some of them are, you know, some people keep them shrinked for investment purposes. But I think it's mainly so it's just completely unblemished you know it's like a pristine item and it's kind of it doesn't really add much you know it's it's it doesn't really add much to it if anything it kind of you can't see the the thing properly because the shrink is obscure in it and you know problems may arise like i said the plastic can react with the disc itself which i'll show you an example of just in a moment and also as the shrink shrinks it can kind of see there it like bends the sleeve a little bit because as the shrink has shrank over the years it's kind of slowly bent the sleeve a little bit um but it is a really nice copy it's a one-of-a-kind copy as well like i can't imagine how many copies are still in the shrink like this it is the first pressing as well with the miss aligned here it is without the dot there which is a misprint and it indicates it's the first pressing um but yeah like you know, the per ultimately the person kind of wanted it in pristine condition. They kept it like this. There's loads of examples of this come from this collection. Um, and yeah, we were pretty happy to get them in. But like I say about damage, um, here is a record, Duriti Column, which uh, unfortunately suffered from its shrinkage. As you can see, I took it out of the shrink and you can see, uh, maybe you'll be able to see, maybe you won't. So on the record disc there, you probably won't be able to see it just from that. I can't see it on the kind of camera there. But it's got like a foggy, very light foggy outline to the whole disc. And um, it's maybe it's more visible on that side. You can kind of see it there, here, where the, um, the basically the shrink wrap has reacted with the vinyl itself. And I have given this a clean and played it, and it does play all right, but some records, 
suffer more than others and I think this one got away quite lightly to be honest so that's something to consider if you're keeping it in the shrink because it can kind of you know mess it up in the long run um, definitely uh, here's another nice example of, of a record we sold just this morning actually by coincidence sealed copy of ZZ Top um, antenna and this is a UK pressing but again you can kind of see how it's kind of it's not a bad example it's not a bad you know copy but it's kind of bent a little bit sleeve but otherwise I think this has got away with you know being sealed to be honest I think it has um, you know who knows what the disc is like though um, this is this is another argument of gradings like is this mint this is mint condition I'd probably say this is mint condition it's pretty minty but who knows what the disc is like the disc might have reacted with the plastic if you want to buy this and open it it might have you know defects on it you know when you when you open it which isn't great but um, yeah I sold this to a guy in America we'll be shipping out tomorrow again another example I might kind of show you um, I'll show you an example from my collection, uh, which I got the other day. And this is Wise Blood, uh, Titanic Rising. And um, I kind of kept this in the shrink wrap for a couple of reasons. Um, I don't usually take stuff out of the... I mean, I don't usually leave stuff in the shrink um, often. I usually take it out of the shrink and try and preserve the hype sticker. But, um, as you can see, it's a quite a watery album cover. And I find that the shrink kind of almost adds to that to be honest like I had a peek under the shrink and it's a, a you know a regular album sleeve but I kind of like how the shrink kind of accentuates the album cover if you know what I mean it looks like she's almost under underwater you know and it's almost like a textured kind of deliberate choice you know um, I mean in a weird way that's how I see it I also really like these kind of plastic uh, stickers which are on here which again you know maybe over time they'd react with the disc but as long as you kind of keep them in good good storage uh, facilities, they're, they're usually okay. But that's kind of why I kept this one in the shrink um, itself. And I don't really plan on, you know, opening it. I also keep it in this to kind of, you know, keep the shrink on, which is a bit weird, but, you know, it's what I do. Um, that brings me on to another thing, which I'll go and nip and get an example of. So something that I'd like to see record companies do more is keep records, brand new record which just came out on Friday, uh, busted, and they actually, you know, lead by example or busted because they've kind of got this is how it originally came. It came in a pra plastic protective outer sleeve, and with the hype sticker on the front there. So there's no need for a shrink wrap, and also this is how I'd probably keep it at home. I'd keep the hype sticker on. I'd probably prise the hype sticker off the sleeve and then stick it on the um, the outer sleeve just to kind of keep it in but um, yeah this is a good example here's another one which is coming out on Friday again similar thing came exactly like this helps the environment because obviously you're not throwing the shrink away and also it helps because you don't need to um, have a you know outer sleeve uh, you don't have to buy another outer sleeve basically and it uh, saves a lot of plastic but yeah, that's what I'd like to see from, um, you know, I'd like to see from record companies in the future. Um, here's a few examples of stuff you might not really want to take out of their sleeves because they're pretty nice, you know, just by the nature of their album, you know, by the nature of their kind of their packaging. Similar to the Wise Blood one. Here's a really cool garbage single, Stupid Girl. It's individually numbered with a sticker on it there. And it's kind of a fabric sleeve on it there with a plastic thing. Um, and, you know, whoever had this record just thought, I want to keep it pristine in the packaging. So it's never been opened. Um, and yeah, it's a pretty good idea. It's pretty good collectible. Um, it's a really kind of nice uh, item, really unique seven inch. And it's completely mint, you know, mint still sealed. Um, here's another one which is still sealed. Um, it's kind of like a plastic, another garbage single. The plastic sleeve, like a hard, um, you know, plastic sleeve on the outside. And um, again, it's hand numbered, so they've just kept it completely sealed. And yeah, really good example of sealed record. Um, here's another example of a couple of sleeves which you'd rather keep sealed. Pink Floyd, uh, Wish You Were Here. It, as you know, many people might know, it originally came like this, and then they kind of 
put the uh, people shaking hands with uh, lightning underneath it, um, with lightning fire underneath it. And um, this is a really hard to find record in its original black shrink like this with the hype sticker on it. Um, this one doesn't have the postcard, I'm pretty sure. It's just, and it's not our first pressing, but it's an original 70s press um, and, you know, pretty collectible. Someone's obviously slit the top to put the, the disc into. Um, some copies are completely sealed, which is unbelievable to find. I don't know how you'd even classify a first press just by looking at the, you know, the shrink itself, because obviously you have to look at the matrix numbers and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, really cool one that people thought ahead and thought, I want to preserve this record um, as a collectible or just kind of for that purpose, you know, they, they just, they wanted to play it, but also they want to preserve it in its original form. Um, here's another cool one. This is a Greek pressing, which originally didn't come with the shrink, I think, apparently, and the black shrink, I mean. So this is still in the sleeve, the shrink, and it has the sticker on the front and it has the postcard, but it didn't have the black shrink, which is pretty unusual. But um, yeah, pretty cool collectible. Um, kept in the shrink, you know, hasn't damaged the disc. It's pretty nice. Um, here's a really cool example, which I think we'll finish up on, you know, uh, in terms of examples. But this one's from the 60s, from the US. And this is still sealed again. A brand new record from the 1960s. So I presume, you know, this, the ZZ Top one, Maybe the garbage ones, but I think the garbage ones might have just been kept sealed as like a collectible kind of way. But I think these might have just been unloved, you know, and it's that typical thing of um, the best condition records are from the ones which were, you know, the least loved back in the day. Um, but the, this is still sealed. It's got the $1 price tag on it there. You know, never been opened. It's kind of survived the years really well as well. It has, doesn't look like it's been damaged or anything. And yeah, I feel like whoever need whoever buys this, they need to, you know, almost keep it sealed. Like, or they can open it and have an absolute pristine brand new record from the '60s, and they know no one's ever played it. So yeah, pretty cool. Um, but yeah, um, overall, I'd say a few things about shrink. You know, the I think most people keep their record shrinked to kind of sustain a certain kind of memento of the record you know when it was kind of first originally like that it can be like um it can be easier to kind of keep them clean on the shelf if you've if you've kept them in the shrink because you don't have to buy a plastic sleeve for it but generally what i find if you put a record in its shrink on the shelf it's going to get a bit wrinkled and maybe even tear and it'll come off um, because it's just kind of delicate it's a bit more delicate um and it's it can you know, damage your records. It could lead, lead to having, similar to the Drusy Column one, uh, some like off-gassing uh, from the shrink. Like I say, when I first pulled the Smiths record out, I could smell it, you know. I can smell like paint almost, and that's the bad smell, the bad smell of, uh, you know, off-gassing plastic. But, you know, it's not up to us. When it's when something arrives in our hands like this, it's not up to us to unshrink it. You, you've got to kind of keep it in its you know, best condition. And we did sell this at a premium because it's in the shrink, because just by its nature, there's not many like this because most people just tore it off, you know, in the 80s. Um, I'd say keeping it sealed, you know, a lot, a lot of people buy a record sealed and then they'll buy another one to open, um, which is mad, you know, I think anyway, but who am I to say, you know, if you're a big collector, like you, you, you're hedging your bets in a way. Um, I like I say I do it a lot well not a lot but in this case I thought it was a good example because um, it kind of looks like you, you know what I mean like it looks like reflected water the shrink kind of adds to it see there the reflections I don't know I just thought you know it, it, it looked better you know it looked better and I really like the hype stickers so I didn't really want to tamper with it too much um, but as long as you're keeping it in good uh, you know not too hot conditions and you're keeping all of them in good condition the records themselves i don't think off gassing is going to necessarily be a big problem but ultimately if i could choose um the future of shrinking records i'd probably say this is the way to go have them unshrinked give them a plastic sleeve put the hype sticker right there on the cover 
and people can just keep it. Because I think most people who don't even realise that records need to be kept, you know, in good condition in a plastic sleeve, they'd keep this as opposed to if, what I'm saying is they keep it like this and take it out and put it back in, as opposed to just ripping the shrink off and then just having it bare back on the uh, shelf like that, which would leave it to be rubbed and stuff, you know. Um, but yeah, I guess that was a bit rambly as a video. Um, I've done a video very similar to this about um, how to store your records well, which um, is a good video to check out on the channel. Um, if you have any sealed records, if you have any opinions on shrinking records, keeping them in their sleeves, um, anything like that, drop them in the comments and um, I'd love to read them, you know. Um, yeah, thank you very much for watching guys and I'll uh, see you in the next video.